Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on fault code P0014, symptoms, causes, and fixes. Code P0014 indicates B camshaft position, timing over advanced. Now specifically, P0014 refers to the variable valve timing system on an engine, or VVT or VCT for short. Essentially, these VVT systems allow the engine to alternate intake and exhaust valve timing to help improve performance and efficiency. So when you're getting this code, it is indicating a likely issue with the variable valve timing system, specifically breaking down P0014. Over advanced means that essentially the timing is too aggressive or too far ahead of spec. So essentially the valves are opening too soon. And more specifically, this also refers to the bank one exhaust camshaft. So again, it's basically just indicating an issue specifically with the bank one exhaust camshaft and the fact that the timing is over advanced on that cam specifically. Some of the most common symptoms of P0014 are going to depend a little bit on the severity of the issue. If timing is only slightly over advanced, then symptoms might be very minor and hard to notice, especially for just standard driving. However, as timing potentially goes further and further out of spec, the symptoms can continue to get worse and worse and more severe. But in general, the biggest things to be on the lookout for are the check engine light. You'll also likely notice a rough idle and poor performance, including stuttering, hesitation, power loss, etc. And then lastly, if things get severe enough, you might actually start to run into issues with the engine stalling. This would be when the timing goes so far out of spec that essentially that's preventing the engine from standard operation at this point. Now with symptoms out of the way, moving on to some common causes of fault code P0014. This isn't necessarily in any specific order, but starting off with number one here, a stretched timing chain or any issues with the timing chain tensioners could potentially trigger P0014. Another very common issue, the variable valve timing solenoids. Fortunately, this is also one of the easier things to repair, but I'll dive into that in a moment here when I move on to some diagnostics. Additionally, on top of the solenoids themselves, any kind of electrical or wiring issues with the solenoids could potentially cause P0014. And in most cases, another slightly less common issue that could trigger this fault code is poor oil flow. And there's a couple different things that could cause that low oil, old dirty oil. Pretty unlikely in these cases, but again, if you really didn't maintain the engine well and you put off on this kind of stuff, then poor oil flow could be causing P0014. Something like a faulty cam phaser is likely to be the culprit here. And then one last thing, which is generally very uncommon, would be a faulty camshaft position sensor. That is a common failure on many cars and engines, but a lot of the times if you run into that, you will have additional fault codes rather than just P0014. Before moving on to diagnostics here, a lot of the times this issue is going to boil down to some sort of issue with the VVT solenoids, and the name may be different depending on your specific car and model. But with that said, moving into diagnostics specifically here, the best first step is to always check associated fault codes. So if you ended up here and you know that you have P0014, but you think maybe you saw a different fault code that popped up on the OBD2 scanner as well, then make sure you double check that and use that code to help point you in the right direction. For example, if you then get a code indicating a problem with the camshaft position sensor, then that would be a very good guideline to follow and assume that in most cases, it's probably going to be that camshaft position sensor. Otherwise, if you have nothing really providing any additional guidance, then those VVT solenoids are a lot of the times the next best starting point. Again, if you remember this code specifically refers to the bank one exhaust camshaft. Some engines may have up to four VVT solenoids, but the good news is each solenoid usually controls each specific bank and whether that be the intake or the exhaust. This code tells us exactly what it is. And a lot of the times these solenoids are about $25 to $100 and are generally very easy to replace and could be done at home in your driveway in less than 30 minutes. So a lot of the times, even without doing any further diagnostics, if you're willing to spend the money up front, especially if it's an older engine, those solenoids might need replacement anyway. If these solutions don't fix the issue, then it's time to start testing for any potential electrical issues or additional sensor problems. 
problems. And then if this doesn't pop anything up, the final step is going to be a little more challenging to diagnose because if it's not something like old, dirty oil, the VVT solenoids, or anything simple that you can diagnose easily, then it could be something more complicated like a stretched timing chain or potentially issues with the cam phasers. Again, a lot of the times you'll even get associated fault codes there. And then again, the VVT solenoids, I would say in most cases are going to be one of the most common causes and fortunately one of the simplest fixes for code P0014. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks everyone.